Hi, my name is Ahmed from Sildum Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm going to recover the admin password for free, for free PBX server. So now I have a free PBX and unfortunately I'm unable to log in using the admin or for any case I lost my password. But in the same time I have the SSH access to that server. So again the SSH is mandatory to uh, this process. So in FreePBX I think there are many methods but I, uh, I have chosen in this video to use the recovery base on the MySQL. So the steps will be as below. I'm going to connect to my SQL database and select the asterisk database and say, hey, please change the password of the username admin to uh, something different, right? So this is the steps in the nutshell. Uh, the question is being asked right now, what is the password of, of my SQL? As you see, each PBX has its own MySQL database and in free pbx i can check the mysql username and password in the file etc freepbx.com right by the way i have uh, 64 bits uh, now i say cat etc freepbx.com and as you see uh, the ampd username in the ampd password those are the username and passwords for the MySQL database. So when I connect, let me zoom. Uh, where is the zoom bigger? I think it's better right now. I say MySQL dash username minus u and I copy free PBX. No, I'm sorry. Again, MySQL, my username, copy, minus P, then enter. And this is the password. Copy and paste. As you see right now, I am in the MySQL terminal. And now, I have to select the asterisk database. To select the asterisk database, I say the command, I use the command use, then asterisk semicolon, right? Say the database changed it, and now I am in the asterisk database. And now inside this database, I'm going to copy that command. This command in a nutshell. It will update the MP users that contain the admin username and use the password hash as selected. So this hash equal to this clear text. So something new 123 equal to the hash to that hash. Right? So I copy say it say uh, from update this is the starting of the command I say update copy then paste as you see the rows match it equal to one and the change it equal to one once you see a number in the changed section that mean that it should change it the password successfully so now the username is admin and the password is something new 123. To my PBX, the username is admin and the password something new 123. And here we go. Once you do that, you can go to admin, administrators, admin, then set the password again that you want to set. For the next time, then apply. And congratulations, Mr. President, you have the GUI.
back. Uh, I hope this video has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing. For more info, you can visit my website, sildomtoss.com. And please, if you like my video, please subscribe, like, and give me a nice comment.